So uh, some of you have heard uh, the good news that's ahead of us, uh, which is the fact that we have several vaccine candidates that will be available to, for people uh, in uh, 2020 and 2021. So there are three vaccine candidates. Uh, two of them are uh, based on a new technology called mRNA, uh, and those are Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, and the third candidate is by AstraZeneca, uh, which is somewhat similar to traditional vaccines in, in that, that they don't require some of the, the, the deep cold storage that the Pfizer vaccine require. But nonetheless, Pfizer and Moderna, their efficacy uh, studies show that they're 90 to 95 percent effective. People should have confidence that if a vaccine is approved, that it is also safe. But what we will have a better understanding of once the approval takes place will be privy to the data that's available that went into the approval process and we would be able to describe that in more detail. The timeline with vac vaccine distribution is somewhat in flux. We know that as soon as uh, vaccine approval uh, by the FDA takes place, in the emergency use authorization, that doses will be available to the states. So uh, uh, I believe Commissioner Azar uh, in his press conference had mentioned that by the end of this year, there'll be more than 20 million doses that have been distributed. And by the end of the first quarter of 2021, about 100 million doses would have been distributed. I can say that for the general population, when we're into April and May, they will be readily, they'll be ready uh, access to vaccination of those who choose to be vaccinated. We have a group uh, within county government that is charged with, uh, with not only our vaccine distribution plans, uh, for instance, if we're going to have a vaccination pod, and that's headed by my assistant commissioner of health, uh, Kathy Tegmeyer. And she will be looking into, uh, you know, the distribution as directed by the federal and state governments uh, in terms of timeline, in terms of whether doses are received by the health department or whether the doses will be going to hub hospitals and distribution from the hub hospitals will take place. So some of those details we are waiting on from the state, but we have a group within county government that will look into how uh, the general population within Dutchess County will be receiving the vaccine. Vaccination of, of a community or population takes multiple partners. And so not only uh, are we uh, uh, conferring with the hospitals, large medical groups, pharmacies, which probably will take on the brunt of, of the vaccine distribution and administration, but we're also internally, internal and, and community uh, and county agencies uh, such as the MRC will be vital in our specific plans of vaccinating uh, county residents. The timeline is in the matter of months. And so in that time, there are things that each of us have to really uh, look to internally in terms of our behaviors and the things that we are going to take the precautions that we're going to take, the behaviors that we're going to adhere to, to not only protect ourselves, but the community. That includes hand and respiratory hygiene, social distancing, wearing a mask or a face covering. Those are essential and must continue even in the midst of vaccine distribution and administration. And it's important as we head into the holidays that people really take account of, of your household uh, and to keep everyone safe and we advise, especially with what's occurring in the rest of the country, that they really avoid unessential travel. Uh, they avoid mixing of social networks and households because that is how transmission is occurring currently in Dutchess County.